Hi there and welcome to battery hardware installation. The first part of our battery hardware installation will be creating the wire and the terminals that go on that. So the first part is to uh, take off these caps. So this should be the wire that you guys receive in the mail from Molex hopefully. So show the wire. Yeah. So, so it's already got the housing on it and these are already uh, taken off which is really nice. So we're going to take off these caps. There's one, and there's two. But when we're measuring out with the terminal, as you can see, the wire needs to touch the top part of this window. So something that we have to do is take off a little bit more of the insulation. So looking at this from the side, you can see that we need about a quarter of an inch taken off. So we'll be right back and take these off. Now that we've cut this first wire, what we need to do is check that the battery, that the terminal fits onto the wire. So something you want to do is twist the strands very lightly so that it fits into the terminal hole. To cut the wire, we use an X-Acto knife, by the way. So you can look at that kit and cut it. All right, and just like that, we're going to insert the terminal. And it should be flush against the wire insulation and should be showing at the top of the terminal. The next step to our battery wire installation is to add on our terminals. As you can see in this example, negative is on the left and positive is on the right. So what we want to do is add this cap on the left just like this. And one thing you want to make sure you do is twist the strands so that the wire fits into the cap correctly. Just like that. Now you don't want to just put on the cap, the terminal all willy nilly. What you want to do is make sure it lines up with this example, which then lines up with the battery. The terminal will go on the outside of the battery terminal, and the screw will be inserted from the left. Now that we have this, now that we have this in the correct place, what we want to do is mark it with a marker so that when we go on to our next step of crimping, we can line it up correctly and make sure that none of the strands are coming out. Just like that. So one side on the wire and one side on the terminal. So there's the line and now we'll go on to our next step of crimping. Okay, now we're going to do the actual crimping. For this, you're going to want to have a partner. So the first step to crimping is to insert the wire into the hydraulic crimper, just like this. But before we can start crimping, you need to engage the crimper. So turn the knob and then slightly twist it into place and then you can go ahead and start crimping. And make sure that the wet red lines are lined up as the crimping process goes on. You want to make sure that you're crimping the bottom of the lip. For this part, you can now use the table as leverage. And now you're going to disengage the crimper. This is what the wire should look like. Just like that. Now the next step is to get rid of these flaps. So we're going to crimp again at a 60 degree angle to get rid of the flaps. This is what your crimp should look like at the end of your first crimp. So the next step is to crimp this top part. We don't want, we want to make sure that we're not overlapping with this crimp. So now we're going to do a second crimp just right over the lip. Make sure to engage the crimper. Is that engaged? The next step in our battery hardware installation is the heat, heat shrink. This is the heat shrink with the adhesive inside so that the adhesive will stick to the battery wires correctly. So this should slip over the terminal. And then we're going to put this inside of a helping hand so that we can get a proper uh, shrink on it. Now, for the heat gun, you want to use their highest setting, which is setting 2 on this one. And we're going to make sure that the heat shrink is wrapped around the top part of the terminal, just like this. This is what it should look like at the end. So, now we're going to start. Now that it's stuck to the wire a little bit, we can take it off of the helping hand and 
hold it in our hands while rotating. A telltale sign that the wire is done heating is when the adhesive leaks out. As you can see, it's a little shiny here, so that means that the glue has come out and that the wire is done shrinking. Okay, the last step of the battery hardware is to install the wire onto the battery itself. Our sanitization shows that the outside battery terminal will go on the outside of this prong here, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a um, five, five, 30, five sixteenths um, bolt, which is in the electrical standardization dock, um, if you want to purchase these, and then a washer will go on top, just like that. And this will be inserted to the, uh, with the bolt facing this way. Now we're gonna add another washer to secure it. And lastly, going to add a nut to finish it off. This part should be facing outside towards me. Towards the skinny part should be facing the inside of the battery. This is what it should look like. And now we're going to tighten with a torque wrench and a monkey wrench. And something you wanna make sure that is very important is you wanna make sure that the screw is parallel to the battery floor so that when you put on the battery caps, it will be flush against the battery itself. You want to hold it up like this, because uh, if you hold it like this, then it'll ruin the mask. Exactly. You have to redo it. So just screw it on lightly, just like that. And then we need a wrench to hold it. Tighten the monkey wrench. And then, yep. And then one person will use a torque wrench on the um, tighten setting and we'll start tightening. You should hear that clicking sound, so then you know it's being tightened. The last step of battery installation is to add on the battery caps, which protects the battery terminal from, from any outside damage. All you gotta do is put the cap on top, pull in the zip tie, and tighten the zip tie, just like this. There should be two zip ties that goes on this. One goes here, like that. And then we use a zip tie gun to ensure that it's tightened all the way. we go. There's one. Here's a second. Right by the wire loop. And then tighten with the zip tie gun. Below the zip tie gun and then release it. Yeah, please do. There we go. That's how you install a battery. Just cut that out, please.